Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Ibrahim from Melbourne PD Study Center and today in this short video, I will show you which of the topics in your speaking and writing section contribute towards some other sections or you can say some other communication skills as well and what you can do to make sure that you score good marks towards those other sections or you can say communication skills. So let me share my slide with you guys and let's see what we are discussing. All right, so if we have a look at our speaking and writing section, we have got these four topics here that I have highlighted. Read aloud, repeat sentence, retell lecture, and answer short question that are also contributing towards reading and listening score. Now, how much score? If you see towards reading, it's about 28%, which is quite significant. And if we have a look at towards listening, so for repeat sentence and retail lecture, it is 26 and 20%, which is quite significant if you have a look. So what you can do to make sure you always get a good mark towards these other communication skills. Now, firstly, you have to remember that you are marked for your fluency and pronunciation always for all your speaking tasks. Okay, so in this video, I will cover what you can do to make sure you always score well for these two criteria. Now, firstly, if we have a look at official PSN guideline for maximum score for fluency, this says that speech shows smooth rhythm and phrasing. And then it asks me to avoid any hesitations, repetitions, false starts, or non-native phonological simplifications. So what it basically means is these are the things I need to avoid. And what are these? Firstly, no pauses, like any unnecessary gaps, no fillers, as in, you know, use of any of these sort of sounds no repetitions as in you said a word you said it again in all the tasks avoid this and also always sound confident make sure the loudness or the tone of your voice is not projecting any hesitation and last point in here you are being marked by a computer there is no human interference involved make sure you avoid any of the courtesy words okay now what are the things you can say you need to do or you need to actually follow in your speaking task? Firstly, uh, something known as intonation comes over here. And if you see there is a graph high and low over here, that should give you a little bit of an idea what it means. But I will explain you in the next slide how you can achieve this. Firstly, for your read aloud, you can say, make sure you take one second pause at your full stop and just half a second pause at your comma, so which is more like just breaking your flow. All right. And another thing known as phrasing, which is important to do in all your speaking tasks. Now, what is that actually? Firstly, what's a phrase? Phrase is any two or more than two words together. So phrasing basically means that all the words of a one phrase should be said together in one tone without any pause or whatsoever. Like if I have a look at this read aloud, I have highlighted some of the phrases here. So the phrase is major breeding areas, breeding islands, and then dark green areas. Now, how should I say it? I should say the words without any pause or without any gap in between. Like I will say this as major breeding areas, breeding islands, dark green areas. This is how they should be said. If you take care of phrasing properly, like it will, you can say, automatically bring intonation. And one other thing, if you can take care of, especially in your read aloud, would be better, that one sentence will have, you can say, certain meaningful parts, certain aspects to it. If you can break down a sentence into its different aspects or into different meanings it is giving, that will be better. Like with one aspect, you have one tone, with another aspect, different tone, and then so long and so forth. All right. Now, about pronunciation, uh, what is pronunciation actually? Native like criteria says vowels and consonants are produced in a manner that is easily understood by regular speakers of the language. Speaker uses assimilation and deletions appropriate to continuous speech. Stress is placed on all words and sentence level stress is fully appropriate. Now, what does it mean actually? So what it is trying to tell you is that your pronunciation's base unit is something known as syllable, okay? And what is that? If we take this word, the syllable inside this one would be these ones over here, in, for, and no. Any one of them you will notice has the sound of I, which A, E, I, O, U, we can call it as vowel sound, and other alphabets being consonants, we can term it as consonant sound. So this portion, I will actually term as syllable, all right? So what you need to do is you need to make sure 
that with all the words you put like a bit of stress on them or you can say in a simple way you can say say your important words clearly and loudly enough so computer can capture the syllables inside that and can detect the word properly all right now I hope guys this like video and all this explanation I just showed you it gave you a bit of an understanding what you need to do in all your speaking tasks to make sure that you don't just get a good mark for speaking but you also get a good mark towards your other communication skills as well that those speaking tasks are actually contributing towards okay thank you so much guys and I will see you in another video